Okay, now we're recording. Okay, yeah, I cloud. see. I see it. It's uh, it says the record on it. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, just you wanna kind of let me know what's up with you and why you contacted me, or do you wanna me to ask you questions? Uh, well, I can give you a little bit of information first, and if there's some things not clear, clear, you can ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, well, I I'm building my own uh, coaching business, and uh, right now, uh, what's going on is I have a funnel that I like a webinar funnel, and I bring people to have coaching call with me, uh, like what we're having right now. Uh, after after the webinar after the webinar yeah so they watch a webinar from your website they sign up for it and then yeah and then they get and on the coaching call exactly and mm -hmm. after the coaching call I, I offer them my services and this is the strategy that I, that I have but like something is not working with the, with this the strategy I know like a lot of people use that strategy but it's not like, working for like, me. Like, like who? Uh, well, clients, you don't know if you know the company, uh, clients, on, uh, clients on Demand, or Russ Ruffino? Uh, no, not so much. Okay. Well, it's a business that teach coaches how to make money, and this is a strategy they use, and it's, it's also a strategy they show to people. And a uh, library of their students, they, they do it, they make a lot of money, and it works, so... I don't know what's okay. missing in that, that system. Are you, are you familiar with the concept of a value ladder? Uh, yeah, I know what it is. Okay, so... It, you give something small, then something a little bit bigger, and uh, then they finally buy the, the big thing you're offering. Yeah, it's, uh, it's basically, it's called reciprocity. It means that when you give me something good, I want to give you back, and I trust you more, so... You, so I can make bigger deals with you. Um, and obviously the whole idea is that you start, let's say you want somebody to give you something. If it's something small, then you can just start by asking. But if it's something, uh, for example, email, like if you want to get somebody's email, you don't really need to you know, go crazy with it. You just need to ask them for the email. And usually a, a squeeze page should get about 30, 40% conversions because, uh, you know, if, if you have a good squeeze page, it's just an email so people are comfortable giving it. Now, if you, you want to start asking for money, uh, you want to start giving value first. So the whole genius part of reciprocity, and they've been doing this even before the Bible times, uh, imagine like a tribe, two tribes of people and they don't trust each other. So usually what would happen is the two tribes would fight and they kill each other. And you know, whoever wins gets to keep the food of the other tribe. So how sharing started is imagine one tribe was like, okay, maybe we don't have to fight them. Maybe we can just try something out. And so they took a bit of food and they put it next to the other tribe, you know, just somewhere in between so the other tribe can see it. And then the other tribe came over. They saw the food. They were like, oh, okay, this looks good. We got this for free. Uh, we better put something too so that they won't be mad at us. And then they put something of value. And then the cycle grows until maybe two years later they feel comfortable to simply be face-to-face -face without killing each other. Um, yeah. But this, it started by somebody giving something away at, at the start, which is something that you clearly understand because you do, uh, you know, you do videos and you produce content and you did create a webinar. But yeah. a problem that a lot of people face when they learn about the whole reciprocity thing is they don't have a good assessment of how much giving is actually too much giving. And there's, the, it's true that there's no such thing as too much giving, but if you give to, to get something, so you're giving to, in, for the purpose of getting somebody to sign up for a coaching call or to buy your product, then 
you need to give just enough in the right places. And a coaching call is a gift. So I'm guessing you're not charging money for that coaching call, right? No, I'm not. So your, your logic is basically flawed here because you're like, I'm going to give them free videos and the, and once they enjoy the videos enough, the purpose is that they sign up for a free webinar. And once they join the free webinar, which is even more value, I'm going to give them even more free value by coaching them for free for once, like one session for free. And then I want them to pay me. So, you put it, it actually, uh, instead of making the process work faster, it actually yeah. makes the process work slower because you're playing for the long run. You're actually supposed to be playing for the short run. So instead of being like making a video and then, you know, and I, I watched a couple of your videos and I kind of skimmed through them and maybe, uh, maybe, it's because I haven't noticed, but I haven't seen you anywhere tell people like, click this link and book a, a, a free coaching call with me. And even, even worse, like I haven't even seen you say, click here to book the webinar or however that works. So what I would do if, if I were you is I would completely cut away the webinar part because okay. it's way too much effort. It's way too much effort. It's too much investment. You know, if you were asking them at the end of the webinar to buy a thousand dollar product, that yeah. would make sense because you've built them up over time, but you're basically building them up to give them something for free again. And what happens is if you look, you know, you look at your funnel, like a, a series of steps and each step, you filters out people and then you lose people here on this step and then you lose more people on this step. Obviously you try to, you know, have as many as possible, but you never have a hundred percent. So yeah. every step gives people another obstacle to the goal. So if your goal is to coach people one-on-one, -on -one, the value that you want to be giving them should be as close to the actual product as possible. So if the product or service is coaching people, what's going to make people want to work with you and pay you a lot of money to get coached is getting, is the demonstration of your coaching. It's not your videos or your webinar. Okay. So the whole purpose of the videos you make are to entice people because they like your personality and they like your thinking and they want to be like you is to entice them to go on a free coaching call with you. And then on the coaching call, you drop a massive bomb of value. Uh, a good coaching call for me takes, uh, could take anywhere from an hour to three hours. And okay. sometimes I do a two or three hour coaching call and I'd be so into that person. Uh, I'd be like, I, I tell them, look, I'm not even completely sure that I want to work together. But I wanna, I wanna just to make sure do another quick coaching call with you. And let me tell you, every single person that I've said that to, like, hey, I'm gonna do another free coaching call with you just to make sure that it's a right fit. But and you know how much it costs, and it's two thousand dollars for a month, right? You you know that, and it's okay with you. Okay, so I'm gonna give you another free coaching call. I'm just gonna make sure because I wanna make sure it's a perfect fit. Every single person that I've said that to became a client of mine. Okay. It's for either two thousand or three thousand dollars. Like without effort, without trying, just the most normal logical thing ever. Okay. So the, again the whole demo the whole purpose of giving value is to give value proportionate to the actual product or service you're selling. So if I want to sell you my coaching, I'm going to demonstrate you my coaching. You know, if I want to sell you uh, a cake, 
I'm going to let you taste the cake. I'm not going to tell you how I made the cake. Yeah. Right? The proof is in the pudding. So this is where you're missing it is you're pulling people on this huge roller coaster of way too much uh, just jibber jabbing and going here and learning this and learning that. But, but again, it might be a good idea if your purpose is to sell a course or something. But right now, you just all you want to do is coach. So that means that if you break it, if you break it down from the end you know, to the beginning, that means that however many coaching clients you get is based on how many people you actually coach on the phone for free. So the more yeah. free coaching calls you do, the more sales you're going to get. And I, I estimate when people use my quote unquote, like formula, like when they, you know, find people who are, who are interested, who have the money, who they have a good rapport with. Usually you should expect between 30% to 20% closing rate. So about one in three or one in five, is going to become a client um, disregarding financial difficulties. So I'm not saying, okay, maybe, you know, at the last moment they couldn't pay. I'm saying people who could pay one in three, one in five becomes a client. So all you need is just to be on the safe side, five to seven coaching calls, you know, because one or two people will probably not show up to the coaching call. So all you need is like five to seven coaching calls with people who, they came to you, so that means they, uh, you didn't contact them and ask them to give them a coaching session. They contacted you uh, because of your videos or maybe an ad you created. And by the way, I really break this down in depth in my uh, free guide. So I have like a 70 page free guide where I basically. Uh, the, the blueprint? Yeah, the blueprint. Yeah, I, I take everything I know and just put it there. Um, that and, and that's really all that you're missing. So I would uh, completely put, put aside the webinar, even I, I don't say delete it, but just archive it or put it aside so you don't need it right now. You, what you need to do is to increase either the quality or the quantity of your videos uh, significantly. So instead okay. of posting a video every two, three days, try video, try posting two videos every day or even more. Like I used to post five videos a day and that was okay. extremely prosperous because let's say, and, you know, and I don't get that many views at the moment because it took a quite a long break. And right now I get like 40 views per video on average but I make about two videos a day. And that means that if you make, if you get like 20 views per video and you make a video every two days and I get 40, let's say even the same, let's say I make 20, get 20 views and I make two videos every day. That means that in two days I got 80 views mm -hmm. and you only got 20. Now, if you actually check the analytics, you can actually see how many of your viewerships is from subscribers and how many, how, what percent is from non-subscribed people. So yeah. for me, about 75% of my views come from people who were not previously subscribed. So that means that out of those, let's say 80 new views every two days, uh, again, assuming I make 20 views, per video, that means that 60 views are people who are, who don't know me mm -hmm. or are not fans yet. And maybe out of those 60, 40, 50 are like new people because sometimes the same people watch a few videos. Yeah. And, and again, what's cool is I also get like a four minute average uh, view t watch times. That means that out of those uh, 60 views, the person <coughs> sat, sat on average for four minutes and watched my video. So he watched my face for four minutes. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Uh, well, the, the, the webinar, I think it 
I still think it's a good thing, but not necessarily in the, having the video first on YouTube. If I do an advertisement to the webinar, maybe. But I, I get that the, the idea of the webinar is having the person already see some of my, my coaching, my stuff, what I, can, what, I, what I can give to them. And YouTube does that instead of the webinar. And no, your, your free coaching call does that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well, you, you don't need to show them how your coaching is because you're going to coach them. Yeah, well, but I mean, the, the video, tell them like, like who I am, they, they make them aware of who I am. Yeah, that's, that's another thing that I wanted to specifically talk to you about. So again, the first point is um, focus on the, the, the actual coaching call and put a link on top of every single video you make. Like click here to book a free coaching call. Make the process as easy as possible, as smooth as possible. I recommend Calendly, the one that I use, but you can use any like booking uh, yeah. service. I already and, have uh, this. Yeah, and ask people not only at the end, but even at the start, before you start the video. Like, look, if you're interested in a coaching call, uh, click the link below to register for a free coaching call. Like, just even start the video like that and then start the video. Actually, the topic of the video. Again, the whole point is to get them on the coaching call. The more coaching calls you get, uh, the more money you make. Yeah. And it's actually exponential because the more people, I found it to be really cool that when you have more coaching clients, especially high paying coaching clients, you can afford a lot more marketing, a lot more advertising. And just in general, you get this sort of good karma where people are always talking about you because you're doing so much good in their life. So that really helps. And again, the second point that I wanted to discuss with you is the way you currently make your videos, uh, if, if I'll be kind of blunt, I find it very kind of like stale uh, and a bit boring. Like there's not, I, the videos are very theoretical. The way that I see them, like it's, uh, it's like talking about a thing, but it's not talking to the thing. So it feels like instead of talking, instead of coaching, it feels more like you're educating. Uh, can you, do you know the, can you spot the yeah. difference? Yeah. So I think that that's a big reason why it's less immediately apparent that people should contact you for coaching because when when you see someone on video and he's educating you, but it, it doesn't feel like he's talking to you about something that you should do now. It feels more like he's talking to you about a concept and there's no, you don't feel like he's calling you to action. You don't feel like you don't feel that fire that says do this. Then it's, it's a lot harder to relate to that person in terms of, Oh, I can see that if I go on a call with this person, he's going to kick my ass. You know, he's going to actually put me in shape. Okay. So um, what can I do for, for this? Um, first of all, a lot more, try putting in a lot more emotions. Okay. So putting emotions would definitely help like any emotion. It doesn't matter if you're excited or if you're, uh, angry, anger is actually very good. Um, any, any emotion, emotions are what, um, so there's two things. There's knowledge and that there's emotions. So you can teach somebody something, but if you don't create the proper emotion in them, they won't actually do it. Or if there's no emotion in the first place. And your job as a coach is to be able to really get excited about things and get in the right mindset so that you don't only teach people what they should do, but you also push them to actually do it. You actually get them excited or angry or whatever emotion you like to use to push people. And 
your videos, if you, if you look at them from an emotional perspective, they're very flat. Like you don't get excited, you don't get happy, you don't get angry. It's, it's just you talking about a subject. So emote, basically use a lot more emotions and also use a lot more calls to action. So before you make each video, you should have a checklist with three things. So first thing is, did I uh, call people to sign up to, to book a free coaching call at the beginning and the end of the video? That's the first thing you need to do. That's the most important because that's going to put you in a mindset that you're coaching, not that you're just talking about something. Because you realize that after you're like, hey, go on a coaching call, click here. Like, you're not just going to be educating people. They're going to be judging you from the perspective of a coach. And secondly, uh, find an emotion. Like, uh, the second thing on the checklist is choose an emotion that you would like to emote during the, the video. So maybe it makes you angry. Maybe it makes you happy. Uh, maybe it's a couple of things. But, but get people excited in any way. Just get them to feel it by, by feeling it yourself. That's how you do it. And thirdly is make sure you have at least two or three calls to action in the video regarding the topic itself. So if you're just talking to people about a topic and there's no emotion and there's no calls to action, it's basically sterile. Like before you watch the video and after you watch the video, nothing changed. And even when you read a book, you can feel the emotion when the author is talking about the subject. And usually there's also calls to action if it's a self-development book. So you push people to that. So make sure that every video you make, you have at least two, three things ahead of time that you know that they should do with what you just taught them. And, 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 and be, you know, some people like to guide in a very gentle way. Some people like to guide. I like to guide very firmly, like in very decisive and sometimes a bit aggressive, sometimes enlightening way. Um, whatever fits you, but you have to do that. You have to actually have that power. You push people to do things. Okay. So, so it's like, okay, I taught you now. now. Now here's what you do with what I taught you. So if you check out any single video that I make, any, any video that I made in the last, since I ever opened my YouTube channel, you're going to find all of these three elements. So the first element is it feels like I'm coaching you. The second element is there's emotion. And the third, part, the third element is I tell you what to do with what I just taught you. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, in terms of the, the videos. Now, how many coaching calls or how, how, how often do you coach people at the moment? Uh, at the moment, not at all. There's uh, one uh, call scheduled for tomorrow, but before that, I, I didn't have for a uh, Yeah, so, so, so that's, uh, by the way, that's, that's the reason that you come out as a bit sterile in the videos. It's exactly this reason. It's because you are not in the habit of coaching people that it, it, it sort of feels um, li like it's, it's like when a guy who hasn't been late in a long time goes to a bar, the girls can kind of sense it. So yeah. when you coach people, it, it's, it's really something amazing that I noticed that when I coach some, when I am actively coaching, the videos I make are top notch. So Every coaching call I make, I learn too. And then I take what I learned and then I shoot it on the people. And it's like coaching helps you organize the information in your head. And then you take that concept and you shoot it out. And it's so, that's why it's so powerful because you, cannot, you can't reach it alone. So because if you're coaching minded, you cannot reach those high level concepts that make you so powerful 
outside of a coaching call. And what I recommend there is that you actually start contacting people and people that you know, either, uh, you know, I'm not saying like family or people that, you know, specifically not people that are like close minded, but people that are open minded and that like you and that look up to you to some extent. And I'm sure you either have these people right now or you, or you don't, didn't notice that you, have, that you had these people. Mm-hmm. And contact them and just tell them, hey, I'd, I'd love to – I'm currently, like, practicing doing coaching calls. And I'd love to give you a free coaching call. And that would be really cool if you could – if you want to do this with me. And – the reason for that is as a coach, I, this is what I noticed about myself, but I noticed it applies to almost every other type of profession where people help other people. The, the main way you get new coaching clients, it's not by marketing yourself necessarily. Of course you have to, but, but it's by actually coaching. Um, because you want to look at activities like leverage activities. So you like, let's say you want to get big in the gym. So yeah. of, you, uh, everything matters, but you, you want to ask yourself, what's the thing that matters the most? Like what's the one thing that if I just do that, everything else will fall in place. And I'm not saying if I only do that and nothing else, I mean that if I do it, I'll also be motivated to do everything else. So for me, for example, what I noticed in the gym is the, when I do a lot of heavy compound exercises, you know, the ones that really tear all your body apart, like yeah. deadlifts and squats, everything gets fixed. It's really cool. Like I just, I, I, I eat better, I sleep better, I, I am more focused, I do my workouts better, I have more motivation. So I found that's my like leverage activity in the gym. So if I just do that, everything else falls in place. And with coaching, if you just coach, everything else falls in place. So the more you coach people, the more people will want you to coach them, the more you, you want to be inclined to make more videos because you have a lot more to talk about. The videos will be much better. Um, you're going to be more confident. So it's, it's simply an upward spiral. For me, again, co- coaching people and making videos, that's all I need to do. And I noticed, that, I noticed that if I just do those two, everything falls in place. And, and for me specifically, it's actually the videos that are the main thing because I'm already coaching minded. Also, already since age 16, I coached like over a thousand people probably. So I'm, I'm so used to coaching that I just need to make videos and people will already see me like a coach. They already kind of, that's the way I communicate. So I already will get people that want to work with me. But if you're not yet in that communicative habit, you don't know how that feels yet, how that feels when you coach someone, you just kick their ass in the best way. Then, then you also need to coach people. So that means coach people at any price like i I don't mean uh like for for a small amount of money what i mean is do whatever it takes to always be coaching so at least three times a week maybe four times a week uh make sure you have a a coach three four coaching calls because that's going to keep you warmed up that's going to keep you in shape and again, it can be even your friends. It can be just strangers, people you don't know so well. It's anyone, doesn't matter, even for free. As long as you get the chance where somebody tells you their problems, tells you their situation, and you help them fix it. But, but, yeah. like, but, that's, but it's agreed that, they, that that's what happens. It's not like, okay, maybe I'll tell you my problem. It's like if they, if they agree to do a coaching call, a full coaching call, not just, you know, okay, give me advice or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, th- those two are, would, 
really help you. Like if you do the three step checklist that I just told you. Yeah. And if you just call people now and ask them for, to do a free coaching call with you. And, and, and even I'd say on the third level, the third thing I would recommend is just completely just change your mindset. Like stop thinking about it. Like, I, like it's a long level, a long, like a long path. Like, oh, they watch the videos, they go to the webinar, and then I do the coaching call, then I close them. All you want to do is get people on coaching calls. It's free. And that's all you want to do. As many coaching calls as physically possible. And I've noticed that the best way to do it is video. But, I mean, just be fucking shameless about it. Like, make the video. Say, hey, I want you to come on a coaching call. Go on a coaching call with me. Click the link below. Book a coaching call. You know, just, just be, be aggressive about it because you're <laughs> trying to push something for free <laughs> that you believe in. Yeah, it's true. And, and, and I don't like it. That, I, I, that, that's, that's, that kind of pissed me off when I watched your videos, to be honest, where you're so nonchalant, you know? You know what? Nonchalant? Yeah. You're so nonchalant. You're so like... It's like, it's like a homeless person and he's like walking like proud and, you know, up straight and like acting like he's, uh, you know, like a person who's got a good job. Who's, he has that confidence, but he's, but he's clearly not <laughs> getting what he needs. So it's, it's, it's clear as a coach. And also I think most people see it that you're, probably not getting coaching clients but but you're not asking and, and, and it, it, it really pissed me off when I watched it because I saw how much you upload you know and how, you upload every two days which is it's not a lot but it's but the the consistency is really good so the fact that you keep uploading no matter what but the thing is if you're not gonna start asking people aggressively like go on the coaching call at the beginning of the video in the middle at the end like go on a coaching call come to a free coaching call with me click on the fucking link if you're not going to ask them for it you're eventually going to starve <laughs> like eventually all, all the willpower and the discipline in the world it won't work because some your brain will just realize like look dude you just like if you try to 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 break to to peel go through a wall and you use a spoon, it doesn't matter how consistent you are, you know, you're not going to get through that wall. You know, maybe, maybe you will. I mean, some prisoners did that, but, but, but what I mean is your brain will realize that you're not getting anywhere. So consistency yeah. and, and discipline, it only works where there's a, an end goal. So you know you're working for something that, that's going to happen or that should happen. Um, so act, so start acting, acknowledge where you are and start acting accordingly. And this is actually, uh, just a coaching call that I had a few days ago where I, I told the guy who was, his wife was leaving, left him, took the baby, filed rape charges against him and, and, and just disappeared. And, and he tried to live his life normally. And then on the side to deal with this like monster catastrophe. And I told him, no, you have to completely acknowledge the fact that you're, you're, you're in deep shit. Like, you just got fucked. You're the guy who, his baby was just taken. And everybody needs to know that. Like, everybody already knows that, but you just, but instead of just being like something that's a characteristic about you, that needs to be the main thing about you. Because if you're, uh, for example, a, a mom that's uh, raising her kids and starving because you don't make enough money, that should be the main thing about you. Like every single person you meet should be like, Hey, my name is Maria. I'm a mom and my kids are starving. Nice to meet you. Like, because then people are like, Oh shit, I, I want to help her. Like, this is not good. It's really not good. But if you just like act as if everything is fine, like, yeah, you keep a bit of uh, quote unquote, like dignity or honor. But first of all, everybody sees that you're suffering and that you're hiding it. And secondly, eventually you're just going to crash because you don't ask for help. So if you acknowledge the fact that, yeah, right now you're not going to get, you're not getting coaching clients and that you really want coaching clients 
and people feel that in the videos like like you really go aggressive about it and also just in your life you just aggressively try to get people to go on a coaching call with you you're going to start seeing a flood of coaching calls okay so 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 drop the nonchalant thing and actually get um decisive about it yeah does that make sense yeah it, it makes sense okay um i mean i think that's pretty much everything that you need but i mean for solving that problem uh just do those three things again the first thing is in the videos the second thing is just on the social level and the third thing is kind of on a mindset level um if you really adopt these actions and the mindset, then um, it, it's, it's like a, it, it, people are going to respond because instead of being like just making a video and hoping people get there, you actually ask people to get there. So it's a lot more demanding, but, but in a very good way. Yeah, it's true. And um, I, I only did this while telling people to either uh, like have a call or go to my webinar when they, they got out. So like the first video, there was the first time that I got my webinar out. I said, people, hey, go uh, register to my webinar during the video, but I never kept going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, that's another mistake is that when you just promote something when it comes out, only when it comes out. So if you actually look, uh, the reason I keep getting book sales from my autobiography is because almost every book I make, almost every video I make, I just go like, look, you're going to see, you want to know the full story behind that uh, thing I told you about? You can actually watch it in my video. Sorry, you can actually watch it in my autobiography. Uh, and the, the link is below. <laughs> So somebody, you know, watches the video and he's like, oh, that's a cool story. I want to know the rest. And he also got inspired by the, by the video. So he's much more inclined to actually go ahead and purchase that. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's, look, it, it really, for me, getting from um, not having coaching clients to the point where I was closing probably like a thousand dollars yeah even more almost two thousand dollars per client and closing three four clients a month uh, it it took almost no time because that's that's the it's like the basic like i'm not saying it's uh necessarily easy but it is simple that's for sure it's it's simple so don't don't complicate it like all you need to do is get enough coaching calls with the right people, name your price at the end, and if, it's a, if you really get, did a good job and it's the right fit and they have the money, they're going to pay. Yeah, it's true. And maybe at the beginning, you're going like to crap your pants you know, when you ask people to give you, you know, $1,000 or $2,000 for coaching. By the way, I highly recommend that you, you know, if, if you've been thinking of going below, let's say, 750 a month, I recommend that you jump straight to asking, you know, in, like getting a package, basically, and, and asking people for like, let's say, 1500 for two months, something like that. 2000 like make sure that the right from the beginning my, my criteria was always that I want to create a situation where I can close three four coaching clients and just with that already live like like a king so if if you have you know I'm not just I'm not going to get into price right now with how much you want to charge or without charging but just, just hear, hear this out. So if you work with three, four people 
and that's still not enough to have you traveling, living abundantly, having fun, not thinking about money, and being able to promote yourself, then you're not charging enough. Yeah, and, uh, and I don't know which of your book you said that, but I, I read it. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so, so do you have any um, question or anything you, else you need? Um, I think, uh, I, I think I'm good with that, uh, with the, with the, the call we had, I, I will definitely make the, the, the checklist that you, you, uh, you told me and, uh, mm -hmm. coach more people. I, I, you know, I'm coaching entrepreneurs and I know a lot of entrepreneurs, so I'm sure I can find like uh, <clears throat> two, three people that will say yes to have a couple of coaching call with me. Um, so that I will do this and then mm -hmm. sell the, the thing and uh and i i also during the, the call it me gave me an idea to do advertisement i could do a video you know like as you told told me to do them and use that video as an advertisement and then bring the people to go to uh to the free coaching call yeah so what i would recommend is that at the beginning you start with just, uh, uh, by the way, another really good way you can get uh, coaching calls is by simply messaging entrepreneurs, or just people on Facebook that are into self-development and entrepreneurs and just literally just saying like, hey, I'm, I want to do, I'm a coach uh, for free coaching calls. If this sounds like a good thing, you know, not, but the thing is not pretending, not being like, yeah, I'm this big top-notch coach, but, but actually saying like, hey, I'm just I'm kind of like starting out, but I'm already, I think I'm pretty good at coaching and I, that, you know, it's something I could really help you. So if you're interested, I'd love to do it for free, like a coaching call. That's a really good way to get, actually get people uh, because you can message, you know, hundreds of people a day. Um, and the second thing about the commercials, about promoting, uh, here's the cool thing. Uh, just like I wrote in my, in my book, the free book, uh, because you, let's say you charge $2,000 uh, per, per client and all you need is like five coaching calls with you know, the right people, uh, that means that as long as, like let's say every lead costs you $200, which is absolutely absurd, you'd still make $1,000 in profits. But even though the profit margin is so high, I would still wait a bit until you kind of find your style. So find the, until you find the way the, to communicate that gets people to want to go on a coaching call with you. Like the best time to record that kind of video would be right after the best coaching call you've had in a while where you just take everything you explain and take that energy and clarity and just push it out on people and so, okay. so I, I would wait a bit. Just, just close your first client or two until you kind of get into the, you feel comfortable closing people on, you know, $2,000, for example. And then straight ahead, you can jump to, to, uh, to that, basically, to promoting it. And it works. It works amazingly, by the way. Okay. Cool. So, uh, awesome, man. Um, one moment. Okay. So, uh, I hope that makes it pretty much clear to you. Yeah. And the way I would break it down in terms of progress is um, the funnel is that simple. Like videos, co free coaching calls, and... Uh, and uh, sales, that, that's it, that's the funnel. So you wanna see how many people watch the videos, how many people go on a free coaching call, uh, maybe how many of them actually go on a call because sometimes that's, you know, the, those numbers are not the same, but then uh, just how many sales and that's it, that's all you wanna do. And then you wanna see where it breaks, how it breaks down. So, you know, uh, am I, if you're not getting enough, uh, coaching calls it's gonna sound funny but literally just if you do the three-step checklist I told you about actually make the videos 
because the, the videos you make right now are not for coaching, they're for education. So if you actually change them, like we talked about with the emotions, the call to action, and asking people to go on a coaching call, now it's a coaching video. So just make it like that. And if you're not getting enough coaching clients, again, it's gonna sound funny, just make more videos. Like, like you make one every two days, it's not enough, make one every day. That's not enough, make two every day. That's not enough, make four every day. I'm not even kidding. Like, it, it literally just works. It, it literally works. Like when I was making five videos a day, I was pulling around 800 views every day just from the sheer amount of uh, video watches. And just the fact that I was uploading so freaking much, people were so inspired by my consistency and dedication and, and massive action that that's already uh, a proof unto itself that you're a super tough motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm, I'm super serious. Yeah. You don't even need to tell people because they just see five videos every day, every single day. That they're like, okay, I, this guy's a boss. Like, I, he's gonna coach the shit out. Of me. So yeah. So just make more video again. If you do the checklist, if you don't do the checklist, it's gonna run into the ground because you're gonna make ineffective videos. And if you actually make them effective, like in the checklist, just go crazy with it. Make as many as physically possible. And it, it works. It really works. And, and also try promoting a bit, you know, just, on, uh, just take the videos, you know, upload them to also to Facebook to, you know, try to be a bit on forums. Just you can try to be a bit out there. That helps. But really, if your goal is just to get coaching clients and as many as possible in the shortest amount of time, it's, it's quantity. Just as many videos that are coaching minded. So again, videos that have the essence of coaching, no matter the quality, just as many as possible, or just as many, try to talk about famous people to, to bolster up the views. Just, just go crazy with it. Okay. And, uh, and I'm sure that within um, a month from now, uh, no, I mean, I'm sure within like, if you do that within two weeks, you're already gonna start seeing like three, four, five people going on coaching calls with you. Oh, by the way, even, even you can just do a video asking people to go on a coaching call with you. Like I just did a video like that a few days ago. It got like yeah. 40 views and I got like six new coaching calls. Yeah, I, I'm, I, that's why I, I'm having <laughs> this call with you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it works. It really does work. Cause I was like, Hey, I want more coaching calls this week. So just ask for them, you know, like people, it's a commodity. Um, yeah, so, so just let me know in the last, next week, two weeks, just how it goes. And again, just measure it really hardcore. Just how many, how many views did I get? How many coaching calls application, how many people applied to a coaching call and how many people actually turned into a client and that's it. That's all you need to, again, as long as you go through, go with the checklist. So, you know, your videos are good. As long as you do that, because again, if you don't do that, it's just educational videos. You're not going to get coaching clients for that. So as long as the videos are coaching videos, just if you don't get enough coaching clients, the answer is always more videos. You don't get enough coaching clients, more videos. And try that out for a week or two and keep mm -hmm. increasing the amount of videos you upload until something's going to happen. So either the quality of your videos is going to improve significantly or suddenly you're going to just change the way you communicate. Maybe you're going to talk about an interesting topic. Something is going to stick and you're like, Hey, that worked. That got a lot of views relatively, you know, maybe most of my videos get 20, that one got 150. Okay. So now you make more videos like that. Again, you make a ton of videos every day, every week, every day. And, uh, that you just catch people and, just get to the point where you get 20 coaching applications in a month, just 20 people contacting you. If you're, and if you basically aim for $2,000 clients with 20 people, uh, you're going to be making at least $10,000 a month, maybe at least 8,000. And by the way, working, you know, traveling and working just, you know, working like 10 hours a week, it's, it's, it's a blast. And it's not hard. It's, if you're coaching minded, again, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. 
cool. So, uh, sounds good? Sounds good. Awesome, dude. So, yeah, uh, keep me updated. I yeah. got to get going. Okay. And, uh, again, if you have any question or anything, feel free to keep contacting me. And I, I'd be, I'll watch your videos. I'll see if you actually listen to what I said. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. Great. Cool, dude. So, yeah, uh, had fun and uh, talk to you later. Yeah. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.